was the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring. Something came up from Earth's fiery bowels, hell bent on destruction and murder most foul. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of blood to objects below. With sulfur is poison, the stage is now set. Lock up your children, it's time to kill death. So long. I'm trying to get the camera ready. Kind of takes time, you know. Don't you dare back answer me. I didn't back answer you. Yes, you did. Now cop yourself on and stop being so childish. Uh, I'm not being childish. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. R2. I'm not. R2. I'm not. R2. I'm not. R2. I'm not. <sighs> cool. Yeah, got it. We're leaving for you. Are you ready? I have seven. Emmy nominations. What do you think? That doesn't make sense. Are you ready or not? Of course I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, yeah. Don't fuck this up. Any excuse and they'll ax me. <laughs> oh, I don't buy into this budget slashing crap. Those assholes want to get rid of me, so don't give them any reason. Am I meant to be the childish one? Sorry? What did you just say? Um, I said I better go and tell the guests that we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. You do that. Right, have we come Dracula? It's me. I'm the kind you're looking for. <laughs> boss, I, 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 saw, I saw a vending machine, Master. Shut up, Igor. B -b Master, oh, he says only. Shh. Uh, we'll be going live there pretty soon. Shh. You know the story, right? When you hear him mention your name, you walk onto the set. Shut up, Igor. Yes, I understand. And uh, give the audience a little wave and, and then just sit down. There's an audience in there? Shut up, Igor! He looks tiny. There's no live audience. Uh, it's just pretend we got our budget cut, so we just play the sound effect of cheering and, and then you walk in, give them a wave and sit down. Simple stuff, really. Shut up, Igor! <laughs> okay, Andre. Yeah, please, I'm Right. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure there's no vending machine in this place. You figure something out. Right. Well, you wait over here, and when she mentions your name, you walk on. I remember the way for the audience. Perfect. Right. And we're going to go in three, two, what? Hello and welcome to another edition of Golden Years. I'm your host, Veronica Toomey. Tonight we have a jam-packed show, so let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Our first guest saved the world from destruction nearly two years ago. Will you please join me in welcoming Count Dracula. You're very welcome, Count Dracula. Take a seat. Please take a seat and make yourself comfortable. It's wonderful to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here. You have had a roller coaster of a year. Yes, it's been crazy. I mean, you're everywhere. Film cameos. Right now, it's just you, me, in a room full of fuckers. Welcome to the bloodbath! <laughs> and you thought this was your lucky day? Suck on this!
radio interviews. I was working in the lab late one night. Good evening, folks, and welcome to another rabbit hole. Tonight, we have a very special guest here with us, Count Dracula. It's a pleasure to have you here. Now, I read in the book that you managed to bring Igor back from the dead. How did you go about it, Todd? Did you have to sacrifice any versions or something? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Nothing is glamorous. It's all that. I merely read from the Book of the Dead in my kitchen. That's interesting. Uh, any side effects? Mm, Short-term memory loss. To be honest, I don't know why I bothered. Oh, wait a minute, I think we have a caller. Um, you're live on the rabbit hole. Um, who am I speaking to? Anna Sutton. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to say to uh, our uh, guest here? I love Dracula. His pale face, that raven black hair, his ass and that cloak. Oh. He's so sexy. Oh, wow. that is some sexy stuff. Uh, how do you feel about that, Mr. Sex Symbol? I, I was reading your interview with Hello. There's more, there's more. Go on, go on, Anna, go on, go on. And you mentioned your love for that, that one harker. What was your favorite position? Oh, for fuck's sake, fuck this, fuck the race, fuck the whole radio, fuck the world. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Hey, this is my job. <laughs> fuck, this is my job, man. Hey, where do we go? Can I handle the pro? Anna, Anna, still there? Mm. Hey, hello? Still there? Hey, can I have your number? Hey. Look, Dracula, you can't walk out of a live radio interview. Fuck it. I was humiliated. Did you hear what that caller said? Everything I told that bitch in a law magazine about Mina was private, confidential, strictly off the record. What do I get? Fucking headlines. That's what the people want. They want to know everything about you, every little thing. I am the Prince of Darkness, the demon of their mind, but the cause of their wet dreams. Understand? Yeah, but this makes everything better. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to start appealing to a younger crowd. We're going to make toys, we're going to make Pez dispensers with your head on it. Computer games, but most importantly, advertising. Get out of town, children. When you had a long, hot ride with the boys, wouldn't you like something rough inside of you? Wagon wheels, mmm, soft, mushy white sandals, and two black hard ones on the outside. Wagon wheels, sink your teeth into something hot. Wagon wheels, they're suing us. They said you were too homoerotic. It means gay. It's okay, I got this one under control. We're gonna do a live TV interview with Veronica Toomey. She's a big TV presenter. Big audience, you gotta get this one right. It's live. You need to win those people back onto your side. Don't fuck it up. How do you deal with all of this? Dracula? Uh, Count Dracula? What? How are you able to handle all this? Uh, the fame? Tell you the truth. I'm not. I'm not me anymore. How do you mean you're not you anymore? Years ago, I was banned. Cast out from the light, forced to dwell amongst the shadows. Through the centuries, I became the darkness. It enveloped me, became my domain. Now I can't take a piss without someone wanting a selfie. Are you uncomfortable in the public eye? The public. I was solitary, untouchable. They called me evil, Nosferatu, a creature cursed. Now, I am unmasked. How do you cope with the fame? Fame is the real curse. And everyone wanting a piece of you. Oh, and they are relentless, these creatures. 
always searching for answers they don't know the questions to. Like rats multiplying, gnawing. Dissecting every word, expertly searching for some weakness, some flaw. And when they find it, oh, they are so disappointed, so very, very disappointed. How could you let them down? How could you betray them like this? You are the bad guy. And then they like you even more. I could snap their necks. But it would be a pure nightmare. Who would have thought it? Me, the Prince of Darkness. Being trolled in cyberspace. I can't even tell if they're being sarcastic or not. What do you mean? Crave the solitude. Oh, to be invisible again. To walk unknown in a crowd. I've said too much. No, I need a drink. No, no, uh, Count Dracula. Uh, uh, perhaps we go to a commercial break. It's okay, we cut to a break three minutes ago. I oh, fuck this thing on a break, is that? Your little speech kind of got me thinking. I feel sorry for you, actually. Dr. Jekyll wrote that book. But you're the one that's been remembered for it. It's as if he's cashed in on your story. All I got from the machine was a bloody balloon, my lord. Go back inside, Igor. Funny actually, when I was a kid, my mother used to tell me stories about you and how bad you were and, and if I wasn't being a good boy, then you'd come and get me in the night. It's actually sad in a way. Because now we read the stories about how you're a hero. Like it was all just one big lie. Like, like finding out your best friend hated you all along. I read a quote once. The halls of fame are built on grounds of quicksand. You're sinking. Anyway, better get back inside of that bitch. We'll be live in two, alright? Master! Master! Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, he's gone! What do you mean he's gone? He's fucking gone! How did you leave him go, you complete and you idiot? Come on, I have to make up something. 